What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I am at SEMO in Las Vegas. I'm gonna do something special. I'm just gonna walk around for about the next 30 minutes. Just gonna walk around Toyota and give them all kinds of love. So here we go. We're just gonna walk around. Let's see what we got. So look at this. I think this is a GX. Yeah, it looks like a GX. My mother-in-law and my brother-in-law used to have these. Actually, my sister-in-law and my mother-in-law both have a GX. So love these things. I drove it when I was in Hawaii. This one's nice, man. Oh my god. Look what they did to it. They put big humongous tires. They cut the body a little bit. They got Dobbinson's reservoir shocks on there. Coilovers. These are probably 17s, yeah. 17 bead locks with 37-inch tires. Those are the Toyo Mud Terrains. This is badass, man. Steel bumper. It's got this electric chainsaw in there. <laughs> Full size spare in the back. Actually, look at that smoked out lights. That's cool. This must be, I'm gonna guess that that's a hot water heater, if I had to guess. That was badass. Look at those sliders, man. So, you don't have to have a perfect vehicle for SEMA, you can just have a real world rock crawling beast that's still dirty and still make it to SEMA that's cool man and then here's another one over here this one's a little bit more tamer look at that bumper one winch a little bit of a lift got that cyclone pre-filter like they don't even want you going back here I wonder why Couple gas tanks on the back. I love these bumpers. What else we got? Whoa. This, what is this? This is a Lexus. This is the new Lexus. I forgot the model number of these new Lexus. It is the LX 600. Yeah, so the new LX 600, and they already made this into an overlanding camping vehicle, which is kind of nice. Got a little awning and chill out here. Just hang out here at SEMA and just chill and check out all of the cars. <laughs> Stock wheels. Got the uh, all terrain tires. I think those are all terrains. Either RTs, maybe they're RTs, I don't know. Look at this. You got the whole camping rig right on your hitch. So you just plug it into your hitch right there, your two inch hitch. It's a swing away too. You got everything now. You got your stove, you got your sink, your little prep area, forks and spoons and knives. Got a little fridge down there. More prep space, all on one little hitch box. This is by Yakima, by the way. That's nice. Love it. Simple, you know, not over the top. And of course, it's Lexus, so it's luxury in there get all that leather very cool what else we got still have the uh, hourglass grill aha like I've never seen one of these before I mean I've seen them online but I've never seen one in person this is the Lexus GX 550 basically a Land Cruiser but the, this is the Lexus version of a Land Cruiser man that's nice I like that color too man I got a mirror down there so you can see the uh, wishbone lower control arms they didn't put a crazy bumper on it this is just like a factory bumper so there's no I don't think there's any I can't see any recovery points there's no hooks, at least none, none that I can see. No winch. This is more of a city vehicle, really. It's all stock. Very nice. I love this color, though, this desert color. 
It's like FDE, Flat Dark Earth. That's cool. All right, we're gonna go from the Lexus area to the Toyota area. And this is the GR booth. That's the uh, Gazoo Racing GR. Their street stuff. So these are pretty cool. There's a Corolla, a little hot hatch. These are badass little uh, rear wheel drive sports cars. <laughs> Look at Mike is all happy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Checking out the Supra. Pretty cool. Too bad we can't get closer. Yeah. It's SEMA, man. They should let us in. Alright, so here we go. The 2024 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. Look at that. So, some of the specs on this, by the way. 2.4 liter four-cylinder turbocharged it has 326 horsepower 465 pounds of torque because of those turbos and this is the one in that terra i guess they're calling it terra it's basically terracotta so it's kind of like a burnt orange like a subdued burnt orange yeah this is my first time checking out the new tacoma though it's nice skid plates rigid lights it's funny though there's no uh there's no way to mount a winch right from the factory you'd have to cut it up and put a steel bumper on there or an aluminum bumper it's got a little bit of a lift with the trd upper control arms and springs trd wheels that's nice man look at this hood badging says trd pro It has that same kind of black, it's like a black tape, just like the Tundra has. Look at that, like a little air wing on the back. What kind of shots we got going on, I can't really see in there. Let's take a look underneath. There we go. ARB. Whole point right there, a little recovery point. It's nice. Of course, they got the composite truck bed. Oh, I see. Uh, there's the um, 120 volt plug in the back. That's nice. I wish they'd let us look on the inside, man. That's cool. Dual exhaust tips over right here. That's a nice truck, man. I have to admit, it's a good looking truck. I wish. That it came with the V6 twin turbo. I mean, after all, the previous generation had a V6. All they had to do is put twin turbos on it. But for whatever reason, they made it a four cylinder twin turbo. But that is what it is. That's the way of the world. Let's go look at this other one over here. This one's in that, what is this one called? Like solar octane or something like that? It's like neon orange. That's crazy. Yeah, 326 horsepower, 465 torque. Basically the same thing. Eight-speed transmission. This is a little bit more tame. TRD off-road with the hybrid setup. That's a good-looking truck. I gotta admit, I wouldn't mind having one. Especially with the iForce uh, hybrid assist helping that transmission work. 
practices. At least you don't have to worry about um, losing power when you go up those mountain roads. A lot of people complain that their Tacomas don't have a lot of power when they're loaded up with gear and camping gear and stuff. Start getting up into the mountains, they start feeling it's kind of sluggish. Those days are over now that you have twin turbos and a hybrid helping you out. Hopefully, anyways. I can only assume. But yeah, that's nice. It's hard to get a shot. There's so many people here at SEMA. Oh man, they got a lot of Tacomas here. This is so awesome. I'm getting Tacoma overload, man. Look at this. This is the Trail Hunter. That's so nice, man. I can actually see myself buying one of these. Trade in the Toyota Sienna minivan for a, a little small pickup truck. You can totally see it. Oh, look at this. It even says Trail Hunter on the upper control arm. <laughs> it's I Force Max, so it's the hybrid. Look at this. It's got a snorkel for people who need to, you know, drive through rivers. That's cool. There's a Trail Hunter badging, sliders. I'm not too crazy about this uh, 1980s style um, chase rack, whatever you call that. It's not a roll cage. It's just, it's just uh, for looks, really. I mean, I guess technically you could strap some gear to it, but strapping gear to the outside of my vehicle is not something I really want to do. But that's nice, though. It's got a nice little lift. I'm assuming those are Fox shocks in there, if I had to guess. I wish you could look inside. Can't really look inside, but what it reminds me of is a little tiny tundra. Is what it looks like. It's like a little small tundra. But yeah, that's a, that's a nice Trail Hunter Tacoma. And there's another Tacoma over here. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, look at this. I like this color. Oh, this is nice. I wish I knew what color this was. This is uh, another Trail Hunter. So it's not magnetic gray like my Tundra. I have mag gray. This one's more like a silver, but it's a darker silver. Toyota usually has a brighter silver. This was like a dark silver. I'd almost call this gunmetal gray. I guess I'll just call it gunmetal gray until I know the official name. And if you know the official name, leave a comment below and let me know what it is. But this is gorgeous. This might be my absolute favorite color so far on the Tacomas, man. That is nice. I love it. Got some bronze wheels. Another one of those snorkels. God, that color is amazing. I hate to geek out, man, but I'm just a Kool-Aid drinker for Toyota. <laughs> I used to I used to actually uh, work at the Toyota factory a long time ago 20 years ago I used to be a welder for Toyota I used to build light truck division trucks for the frames I used to be a welder and uh, I made a lot of uh, the late 90s trucks got an ARB fridge on a slider look at that ARB roof tent roof rack or uh, rooftop tent it's ARB everything Got the molly panels. That's nice. You know what's nice about this kind of setup is um, people can't just reach in and steal your stuff. So it's kind of like security in a way. That's the one thing I don't like about uh, these bed racks is that they're kind of like your gear is kind of unsecured when it's out in the, in the country. You're out in the forest, you're out in the woods, your stuff's in the back. Somebody could just reach in and steal it. But when you have these molly panels, it kind of acts like a cage. It's a protection. It's cool. He's got a wee boost so he can make phone calls or have internet connection in the middle of nowhere. That's beautiful, man. 
let's spend a little bit more time on this thing. I just really like this color. It is beautiful. All right, so remember I was talking about silver, how their, their silver color is usually brighter? So this is what I mean. Like, here's one that's in that brighter silver. See how it's bright? This is nice, too. I do like this. And you can see the difference between the dark and the light. I like them both. <laughs> My Sienna's this color right here. This is Not the white one. I do like the black TRD whales. They just have steps there. Those are not sliders. There's some kind of hammock thing going on here. It seems like a lot of extra gear to carry around just so you can have a hammock. Whatever happened to uh, hanging it on a tree? Still no place to um, put a winch or uh, recover. like tundra style accents see how there's a crease and then a bump out almost looks like a wide body but it's not that's what they did on the tundra as well you got the steps so you can get up to the top oh you know what i noticed about the bumper the bumper should be easy to um replace yeah i think so yeah, there's a line right there. You can see it. See how it's right there? You can take that whole bumper off and put a steel or aluminum bumper on the back without cutting the plastic, which is the problem with the Tundra. I don't know why they did that on the Tundra, but you have to cut the plastics, at least on the front of the bumpers. And I think you probably have the same problem with these. Yeah. I don't know why they did that. The bumper is all plastic here, all the way up to here. So if you wanted to put a bumper on here, you'd have to find a line that you want and cut it. You're going to have to take a saw and cut this plastic. There's no way around it. Gone are the days where you can just take off, take the steel bumper off and replace it with an aftermarket bumper and just bolt it right onto the frame. I don't know why they did that. Toyota, boo, I don't like that. <laughs> but it's still a beautiful truck though. Very nice. Alright, so here is a Blue Beetle truck. I guess this is uh, in cooperation with a new movie called The Blue Beetle. And even though I am a Toyota diehard fanboy, I think this truck is kind of not good looking. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like the wheels. I don't like the wrap. It's just not me. No, nope, not, not feeling it. What else we got? Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, wait, oh, this one. Look at that. Land Cruiser. That's what I'm talking about. The all new Land Cruiser. This is my first time seeing the Land Cruiser, man. Look at that. I wish they'd take these stupid, uh, these, whatever you call these things. I wish those weren't here. This is SEMA, man. You don't need those. In the old days in SEMA, they would have the cars wide open so you can check them out because it's not open to the public and they trust us for the most part. I guess they don't trust us anymore. That's nice. What is this monstrosity on the back? What is that? Dude, that is so ugly. I mean, I know what's underneath there. That's where you put your two inch tow hook. But God, that piece of plastic is horrendous. What are you guys doing? It's got street tires, so this is a basically a soccer mom vehicle. It's not set up for going off road just yet. There's another one. This was the uh, I Force Max version. I like the gray. That's nice. Let's take a look inside here. It's pretty nice. Almost reminds me of a forerunner. I think a lot of people will like this if you're a fan of the old, the older like 80s era, because it has that vibe, that 80s era vibe. Uh, 
a uh, what do they call it, 80 series Land Cruisers. Kind of has that vibe to me. It's a good looking uh, SUV though. All right, now here's something I heard about already on the internet. I need to buzz about this one. So this here, let me just read it in here. It's a 67 FJ45 Land Cruiser. It's got a V8 in there, 4.7 liter V8 under the hood. 270 horsepower, 324 pounds of torque. I wish the hood was open so we could see. But I guess there's really not a whole lot to look at. It's just the old 4.6 liter V8. That's beautiful though. Big old wheels. It's actually not lifted that high. Let's look on the inside. Nice. Old cage in there. Look at that original bumper, man. See, that's back in the old days when the bumper was just bolted right onto your frame. <laughs> that's nice. It's a good looking uh, SUV. And it's V8. And then, oh yeah, I saw this on the internet too. Look at this. It's another FJ, but highly customized. Gigantic wheels. Jeez Louise, those are some big wheels. Look at that intake. <laughs> Look at that humongous intake up there. Oh my God. This thing is huge. What size wheels are these, man? Probably like... 40 somethings I don't even know look at that curry axle solid axle baby look at that hydraulic looks like it's got hydraulic steering yeah those how the hydraulic ram steering ginormous bypass coilovers that go through the freaking roof through the hood look at that bird catcher up there man He's got like a bird catcher intake. That's crazy. I think these are 20 inch bead locks. I've never seen 20 inch bead locks before. Wow, look, manual hubs too. Old school manual hubs. That's cool. <laughs> Long travel suspension. Again, those, those Fox bypass shocks, man. Holy crap. They probably have, I would guess that that has at least 20 inches 20 inches of travel for sure this thing's made for going fast as well as crawling i'm sure that's nuts it's got the radiator mounted in the back holy shnikes that's beautiful and then we'll end it with uh this uh sequoia look at this so here's just a 2024 sequoia with a rooftop tent. The Sequoias are nice, man. I think they're seven passenger. This is just your uh, run of the mill Sequoia you'd see at a dealership, but it's nice, very nice. Hit that like button to support my channel. I appreciate it, it helps me out a lot. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos and leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about Toyota. Later guys.